And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. That Dapper Man. That Tapping Man. That Smiling Man. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the latest and the greatest, the dancingest man in America, Little Bo Jangles Robinson. Hey, Little Bo. Hey, Little Bo. Hey, Little Bo. Who's the greatest dance in the other side? funeral. I gotta tell you, of all the acts that I've worked with over the years, Will Rogers, the Marx Brothers, all of them, the greatest was Bill Robinson. Greatest client, my biggest pain in the ass, my best friend. I'm gonna miss him so very much. I miss him already. Well, my husband there, and most people don't realize, is that this is a funeral for two men, not one. It's true. You see, 99.9% .9 of these people are here to mourn the charming, thoroughly professional, profoundly generous Mr. Bojangles, who brought joy and laughter to the fans, the world round. But the rest of us, the vast minority, we're merely paying our obligatory respects to an immature, lying, selfish, backstabbing son of a bitch who went by the moniker Bill Robinson. Maybe he wasn't a saint. But look, one and a half million people lining the streets from Harlem to Brooklyn to Manhattan. That's the biggest outpouring of love New York has seen for a funeral ever. easy to love Bill. Problem was getting him to love you back. What is all the fuss about? About what? Girl, we're witnessing history here. Bojangles is breaking the two coloreds rule. The two what rule? Well, my dear, as we all know, no one colored man is talented enough to entertain a white audience on his own. So they made up a rule there had to be at least two on stage at all times. You know, so the one wouldn't make a fool of himself. Can you believe that shit? Hmm. Look at that. Hmm. See? Some white folks ain't too happy. Of course not. Now they only got one color dancing and grinning for them. Wouldn't know with all that mess on his face. 
silly enough when white folks are wearing blackface to look colored. Now you got colored folks wearing blackface to look like white folks looking colored. Doesn't make any sense. calls himself a new Negro, looks like a silly old clown to me. What are we doing? We're never gonna get in there. It's nothing but a waste of time. Oh, like you got something better to do. Of course I've got better things to do. Oh, Fanny, we're about to meet the biggest colored star in the world. I wouldn't care if you were having a baby. We're going in there. You're going in and I'm going home. Fine, go. You're not really going in there? Clarissa! Clarissa! Hey, 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 put out that reefer. You know it ain't legal. <laughs> Look at all these white people. See, I told you this was a bad idea. All this race mixing, cops will be in here busting heads for sure. <laughs> you sure did it tonight, bro. Bitch, I wish I could work without a partner. <laughs> hey, Bo, you look great out there all by yourself. Everything's copacetic, cool, Papa. Copacetic? Surely you know that's not a real word, darling. Not yet, it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Where? To meet him, silly. Come on. No. Clarissa. Clarissa, wait. Did you see what she was wearing? Every bone in my body says I should be out that door. What's wrong with me? I wasn't raised to be around this kind of mess. I'm a college girl, first in my family. My mom and daddy would die if they caught me in this room full of fast men and hoochie women. All right, Bo. And then there's him. Sir, mm -hmm. sir, I'd just like to thank you for standing up to that two colors rule. It was a proud moment. Yeah. Well, we all got our battles to fight. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Rogers. I have never seen a colored man carry on like him. My daddy says, you go holding your nose too high above the rest, somebody's bound to come and whack it off. Cabbage on the dock. I'm good for him. <laughs> He's good for him. <coughs> Tiny, spot me a hundred. Can't do it, Bill. You already in way over your head. Shit, man. Look at them deep pockets of yours with those shorty little arms. <laughs> well, you gonna be thanking me in the morning for these shorty little arms. <laughs> <laughs> I'll spot you, Daddy. Yeah. Money don't come any easier than this. Let's see the money, brothers. Come on, come on. Go ahead, Dad. Don't throw me 20 on the side. Oh, oh, oh. Well, kiss my ass. I feel moved to quote some scriptures. A fool and his money are soon parted. Thought you was the man, Bojangles. 
thought you was too cool to pop, too old to stroll. Well, stroll your black ass right out of Chicago, my man. This here's my town. Randy, why don't you cool down? Cool down? Man, they don't come any cooler than me. Now, what you got in the way of collateral? How about this? Huh? I don't believe I heard you. You want some of this? Or not? What the hell's wrong with you? Some little asshole prick just cheated me out of my money, that's what. what? Come on, Man. Bill, you can't be waving that thing around in No. Here. Well, I got news for you. This here deputy's badge gives me license not just to wave it around, but to use it as I see fit. Which, in this case, is to uphold this state's anti-gambling laws. Now give me back my goddamn money. For what? You gonna haul my ass in? No, I'm gonna put a gold bullet in it and make you worth more dead than you ever was alive. No, no. Not all of it, just what's mine. Yeah. That ought to do it. <sighs> you know, I feel moved to quote a little scripture my damn self. As the big man says, don't fuck with Bojangles. What did I have to go and do that for? Hard as I work, all the late nights and early mornings, all them long, hard ass kissing years, and there I was, just this close to popping them and losing it all. Oh. No motherfucker worth that. No punk ass motherfucker worth that. Speak up! You alone, Marty? No, there's three of us. Me, myself, and I, we're all here to kick this stupid ass. Open a goddamn door. Jesus Christ, Bill. What the hell were you thinking last night? What is that? Are you nuts? This is gonna get you into more jams than it's ever gonna get you out of. Yeah, well, it got me out of one last night. You know who that kid was? No, and I don't give a shit. We're talking City Hall here. I don't want to drink at 6.30 in the morning. Like I don't got connections of my own? Mayor's office, Chicago PD. This isn't a pissing contest. You can't pull out a gun every time you lose a hand. The punk was being disrespectful. That's what you said about the off-duty cop. He was hustling me. And before that, the gangster with the stacked deck. Don't you see a bit of a pattern here? You're not a very good gambler. As a matter of fact, you stink. I'm just in a slump, man. Bill, you're the best goddamn tapper there is. What are you doing? You're gonna ruin everything we worked for. Yeah, I'm the greatest. Meanwhile, I'm staying in second-rate rat traps like this one, and, I, and I'm playing smaller and smaller houses wherever I go. You're making top dollar. Top, my top dollar can't even pay Eddie Cantor's cigar bill. He's white. Cantor is white. Marty, those lights go down and the curtain goes up. Folks don't care what color I am, as long as they get their money's worth. I should be working the same theater as Cantor is. You will. It takes time. I'm working on it. Meanwhile, try not to get yourself killed. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. That's all I ever hear. Wait a minute. Are you implying that this is my fault? Sure as hell ain't mine. Well, maybe you should find another manager. Maybe I'll just take you up on that. Be my guest. Maybe I'll just do that. I think you should. He scares the hell out of me. Not that crap about him leaving. He ain't going nowhere, neither am I. All these years, and there's never been more than a handshake between us. No, I'm scared about what happened last night. All that town, but he keeps getting into these messes. I tell you, every time I hear the telephone ring, I'm sure something terrible has happened. It scares the hell out of me. 
It's reckless how he goes about his life. That's the only word for it. Annie, these uh, prescriptions are ready. In a moment, Mr. Kerner. Mm -hmm. Hey, welcome to the show, Jack. Hey, 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 I'd buy a ticket if I had a few of those saw bucks you owe me. Doc, if Bojangles ain't good for it, who is? <laughs> you got some uh, good taste in cough medicine? Uh, here's Mrs. Gigliotti's prescription, Mr. Kerner. Thanks, Fanny. Uh, these are in. Hey. I know you. I think you must be mistaken, sir. No, no. You came backstage after last night's show. Oh, really? What show was that? Allow me to refresh your memory. You were there with the girl who went home with the trumpet player. She did not. Well, of course she didn't. But I think we remember now. Oh. That was you? Who would have guessed it with all that clown makeup on your face? Well, that's blackface. That's a theatrical tradition. Oh, really? Slavery was a tradition. Doesn't make it right. So sassy. Being honest is not being sassy, Mr. Robinson. And a woman who speaks her mind doesn't have to worry about a man getting the wrong impression. You know my name. I'm flattered. Mm. And your reputation. Yeah? What's that? Thank you, Mr. Kerr. That's one pretty kind of guy you got there, Doc. She's smart, too. Studying pharmacology. Got a great future ahead of her. Good day, Fanny. Miss Fanny, smart world, huh? If you say so, Mr. Robinson. I would have hoped you could appreciate the long odds of us running into each other like this. As well as this morning. Man can't go in the store? Didn't buy anything. Ah, but last night. Last night was all you're doing. I didn't know you from Adam last night. So it's a habit of yours to wander into entertainers' dressing rooms? I was the dragged in there. Against your will, I suppose. Kicking and screaming. Oh, well. And I truly do owe you an apology, Miss Clay. For I was naively hoping that. You were as swept off your feet by me as I was the moment I laid eyes on you. Well, I do hope reality hasn't dealt you too hard a blow, Mr. Robinson. <laughs> Tough. So, how about we start with dinner and a buggy ride around the park? <laughs> what? How do you know that I'm not married or engaged or something, or just plain not interested? What's that got to do with anything? You're a real piece. Miss Clay, you have no idea. So, Dinner? And a buggy ride, I suppose? That's a fantastic idea. You aren't shy, are you? Miss Clay, a man's got to speak his mind, else a woman might get the wrong impression. Pick you up at 8 tomorrow, right here. Maybe. 8 o'clock, right here. What can I say? I saw it coming, and I tried to resist it with every snooty bone in my body. But I still fell for him. Me and probably every other girl that ever saw him dance. That face. <laughs> and those feet. That's me, baby. Six weeks? Oh, you just keep your nose in them books. They're gonna go by before you know it. You promise me you won't go following for any of those fast California women, huh? Me? I'm the one who got to be worried, fine as you are. That's pretty. Oh, uh, it's special. 
Can I borrow? My brooch? <laughs> what in heaven's for? For a bit I've been working on. Yeah, be perfect. No, bro, I can't. My nana gave me this. This has been in my family for years. I just want to borrow it, baby. I'll give it back. Nothing's going to happen to it, Fanny. Besides, it's been waiting for me to have you with me on stage every night till I get back. I'm taking care of you. Good. All right, baby. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a flush? A pair of Jack showing. He's trying to bluff. I'm sorry, bro. I guess it just wasn't your night. This game ain't over yet. Teapots over kettles for him? I don't think so. He's only two weeks late. Maybe his tour got extended or something. He could have written. Assuming he can, too. Assuming he can. Of course he can. <clears throat> We're closed. Sorry. Sweet Jesus, it's him. Friend, ain't you? Name's familiar. <laughs> she here? No. Heard she married and moved to Paris. Paris, eh? Mm, that's what I heard. Well, you snooze, you lose, I guess. She sure was pretty, that Fanny Mae Clay. Sounds like there's mice in this here supply room. I wonder if Doc Kerner knows about that. <sighs> well, I'd go now. But I just know Doc wouldn't want me to leave the mice in his supply room. But I know only one way to get mice out. You got to drive them crazy. Yeah, you got to tap into their little heads. Gently coax them into thinking that their miserable little mice's lives would be better off if they just, just come on out of that supply room. And once you got them all rattled and woozy, then you, then you just, you just got to slip them the cheese. Then you just gotta tell them. You just gotta tell them how much they mean to you. Mices. Mices, I love you. I love you more than you can imagine.
imagine that? I have. I have many times. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, God. It's morning, Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Morning. That's a problem? Some of us still live with our folks. Hell yeah, it's a problem. Well, just, just tell them you were drunk as a sailor. Last <laughs> time you were hanging out at an all-night bash with a bunch of reefer smoking entertainers, <laughs> and you passed out. Mm? <laughs> huh? Thanks, but I think I'll work on an alibi with Clarissa. You and Clarissa all hands at this, huh? Hey, Bo, gonna take your advice. We're gonna try the new song tonight. Yeah, knock him dead, boss. Looks pretty. What is it? A couple of Canadian producers want you for a tour starting right after your run here. See you later. I don't know. Don't know what? Hell, this is a first-class gig, top-notch. They're meeting me back in New York to get an answer. Am I the headline? No, featured act. Third billing. Well, that's pretty good for this cracker box. Yeah, I don't mean shit if they got me staying in some second-rate igaloo out in a boondock somewhere. <laughs> what? Igaloo? That's funny. Maybe to you, you don't gotta stay there. Neither do you. Canada, no segregation. All right. All right. As long as I'm treated equal. That's what I'll tell you. See you after the show. On Marty, no blackface. What the hell are you talking about? It's demeaning. You've never had a problem doing blackface before. You've been doing it for years. It's, it's a theatrical tradition. Yeah, so is... So is lots of things. Don't make it right. No. I'm a dancer, not a clown. Best in the world, everyone tells me. I don't know, Bill. No, Marty, no. It ain't right. Tell me I won't do it otherwise. I'll fight for you on this, Bill. But I gotta tell you, I don't want to risk losing this job. Well, what's the risk? It ain't no good. The money is. Yeah? How good? Twelve hundred dollars a week. Damn. They know I'm colored? You're colored? Well, I'll tell them I'll take it. But only if my billing is temporary. Bill, what did I just finish no, telling no, you? No, 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 no. Two weeks, if the box office picks up, I want top billing. Tell them take it or leave. I'll tell them. It's got to be solo. Of course. Oh, and Marty. Jesus, will you let me get out the fucking door already? I happen to have a lot on my mind. What? I want you to send half my dough to Fanny. She's gonna take care of my money. Oh, that floozy you've been seeing? She ain't no floozy. Girl's got her head screwed on tight. Maybe a little too tight, but probably just as well. Well, it's your dough. Oh, and Marty, one more thing. You what? some money. When will you learn? A little advance. He's in a tight spot. Marty Bill is always in a tight spot. And you know why? Because he's a gambler, that's why. And a shitty one at that. He'll pay it back. Marty, you're forgetting I toured with the guy in vaudeville before you two ever met. I'm still waiting for the 40 bucks I loaned him 10 years ago. Marty, Marty, look at me. What? He won't pay you back. You're doing all right. We've got other acts. Yeah? Who? The Knox Brothers? No. You dropped them so you could focus on Bill's career. Bill Rogers? Let me see. No, you dropped him too. Why? For the same reason. Let's talk about incorrigible gamblers. Look at him out there dancing. He's a fucking genius. Those people don't even know what they've got. It's pitiful. Yeah, it's pitiful. You're pitiful, and I'm pitiful. How is it that someone with such perfect control over his feet has almost no control over his life? 
No darky acting. No more of this crap. Just me as I am. My own face. Your own face. <laughs> hey, Bo. Last time you got to wear that shit on your face. Congratulations. Thanks, oh, baby. I am so proud of you. When do you leave? Well, that, that kind of depends. On what? On things. Things? Baby, come on now. Let's not talk about this now. I'm sorry I even brought it up. So, what? Are you in trouble or something? No, I ain't in no trouble. Shit. It's a wardrobe thing. I'm gonna straighten it out right now. Now, Bill, you promised me you were gonna take me out. I wish I could, baby, but this is important. Hey, Bo, we're dealing. You in? Yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. A dice game? No. Cards. Bill. Right, now, come on, baby. You son of a bitch. You promised me you were gonna stop gambling. I promised I'd try. Baby, come on now. Let's see, you don't, you don't understand. This, this one of them ends justifying the means kind of thing. Okay, let's hear it. What, you gotta know everything? You're right. Forget it. Well, baby, come on now. I don't give a damn what you do with your sorry ass life. It's your mess now. Woman. Shit. Fanny, wait. I thought I was your girl. Damn it, Fanny. I need a thousand bucks before I can even think about going to Canada, and that's the God's truth. Oh, shit. Fanny. Every sense that you even think I believe a lie like that. I'm telling the truth. Bullshit, bullshit. Marty told me that they're paying all your expenses. Yeah, once I'm there. Oh, and how much is the train? Fifteen dollars, maybe? Fanny! William Robinson. You have one chance to tell me why you need a thousand dollars. And if I even think that you're not telling me the truth, my ass walking out that door will be the last that you see of Fannie Mae Clay. Open it. What's inside? Nothing. Open it up. I don't get it. No? There's nothing in there, Bo. All my costumes are in hock, Fanny. They're locked up in a pawn shop across town. Owner lets me come by and swap suits because he feels sorry for me. Ain't that a kick? He feels sorry for me. That's it. No costumes, no act. No act, no Canada. That's my deep, dark secret. I'll get you your money. What? I have some saved up and some heirlooms I can pawn off. No, no. That's your school savings. This is not a gift. It's a loan to be paid back with interest, starting with your first week's salary. Why are you doing this for me? Because you would do the same for me.
hell of a stumble. Come on, girls. Man, I almost broke my ass out there. I didn't think about putting that into the act. Yeah, and I want to juggle lions while I'm at it. I'm serious. No, you crazy. Nah, Bill, I'm serious. Listen to them. I'll see you out front. Stick to the what for that. This tour is just the beginning. Bill Murray's getting calls from every major house in the 48. We'll be raking bacon. And we, we do love, love bacon. bacon. Come on, get out there. Yeah. Ray, did you send that check in the pair of earrings to Fanny? But of course. Come on. When can we head back? We can go tomorrow. This is our last Canuck gig. You. A little. <laughs> Marty, Ray, come on out here. Hey, where is everybody? Last one out on the floor pays for all the booze. <laughs> Didn't you already pay for the booze? As always. Come on, be nice. <laughs> Fanny, I want you to meet my brother, William. Welcome to the family, Mrs. Robinson. William. Both of you are named William. It's a long story. I go by Percy. Well, I am so glad to finally meet somebody from the family. I was beginning to think I married little orphan Annie. <laughs> yeah, well, Bill and I are pretty much all there is anymore. I'll dance to that. Mm -hmm. 
I hope to see a lot of you, Percy. I hope so, too, Mrs. Robinson. Now, you never told me you have a brother. Didn't? Hmm. Must have slipped my mind. Hmm. Two couldn't be more different. We got split up pretty early. Mm -hmm. Shy, soft-spoken, mannered. Certainly no gambler. Well, I'm more city-fied, is all. Mm -hmm. Fat. Only thing you two have in common is that name. You gonna tell me why? Someday. <laughs> William. His name wasn't never William, no more than mine wasn't never Percy. Percy. I hate that name, but he the older brother, and he give it to me, and he took mine, and it stuck. And that's that in a nutshell. But all y'all don't give a rat's behind about that now, do you? <laughs> of course not. Just like it don't make no matter, y'all, that this is second wedding that I know of. Bojangles. The word means troublemaker. Now, they're a name that fit him to a T. Not that he didn't steal that one, too. You see that hat? He stole it right off the head of a mannequin outside old Bojangles' shop. Just right down the street. Just became a game for the kids. Who stole old Bojangles' hat? Bo Jazzin, Bo Jangles. Said it often enough, I just became Bo Jangles. That's nice, boy. Uh oh. Give me the strength to beat the devil out of Here she comes. Oh, shit. I best get the hell out of here. But, Lem, your money. I don't want your money. You keep the money. It's yours. Nothing. Grandma, look at the money we made. Oh. Jump on Jim Crow. Grandma. Get in the shop oh. and like some plantation oh. slave boy. Oh. Ain't dancing. Now you don't dance, you come to church sometime and catch the Holy Ghost dancing for the Lord. Amen. Yes, William. Amen. Love the Lord. Oh. I know this is hard on you, William, because you a good boy with a pure soul. Come back here, boy. I'm leaving. Come back here, I said. You know good and well that just say you my responsibility. Uh-uh. I'm not going to let you beat me no more. No more. I'm not going to let you beat me like some what? animal. If my mama and papa were alive, they if wouldn't treat me like If your folks was alive, me. then I wouldn't have to bother with you. Go on. Go on, then, and don't you come back. I ain't going to fret about you no more. Your life don't mean no more to me than a flies. And I just counted the blessings that you won't be around here to drag your sweet brother's soul down with you. Luther! William, Luther. let that demon go. He's a child of Satan, William! You hear me? Luther, no, she's crazy. Why are you doing it? We're the crazy ones. We should have left sooner. Now get the hell out of my way. No, I ain't letting you run off. Let go. Let go. I'm tired of being the old bass whipping post. She can have you, but I'm taking your name. From now on, my name is William Robinson. From now on, I'm the good one, and not you. If you ask me, I think Luther might have actually believed some of what Grandma said about him being evil. I really, I really do. do. That's why it made sense for him to go on and take my name. Like he could give old Satan the slip that way. Why else would he go and do it? Wasn't sure you'd come. Don't I always make your weddings? So far. Oh, you are, you though. <laughs> so what about you? Still got that ugly girlfriend? She wasn't that ugly. Oh, hell, man. You used to have to tie a pork chop around her neck just to get the dog to play with her. Oh, you do. <laughs> so what happened to her? She left me. <laughs> she left you. Oh, that's sad. That's so sad, oh, I baby know. brother. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs>
You know, Grandma loved us, Luther. Your life don't mean no more to me than a flies. No. No. I'll never forgive her. Never. Then you're the one that's gonna keep on suffering, Luther. You, not her. That's what it takes? That's fine by me. Come on. Let's go have a real drink, Percy. Come on. <laughs> so is this one for keeps? We'll see. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> the marbles have been thinking. I'm gonna screw this up. I just know it. She's too good for me. That's a fact. Half my age, pretty, and studying to be a pharmacist. Hell, I didn't even know what a pharmacist was for a minute. Now I'm bald and chained to one. <sighs> Don't get me wrong. I mean, she probably make a great wife. It's just that I'm clearly not the settling down type. Shit, I'm in showbiz. I'm a bunny. I got the hop. Who are you talking to? No one, little boo. Just thinking about what a lucky man I am. Mm. Really? No, not really. Actually, I was thinking about how to talk you into moving to New York. New York? Mm-hmm. Oh, Chicago's I know, I know. All your family's here. Yes, I'm not even halfway through school yet. Ain't asking you to abandon your dreams, darling. Just slide them to the back burner, son. But you work vaudeville. I thought we could live anywhere on the circuit. Yeah, well, I'm quitting vaudeville. Quitting vaudeville? Mm-hmm. You wait until my wedding night to tell me this? I got to, baby. Marty says vaudeville's got one foot in the grave. Said the only future is either out in Hollywood or in a big show on Broadway. What the hell was I thinking marrying you? You're nothing but a dreamer. How'd I get swept up in this mess? Nah, don't worry, little Bo. Everything's gonna be copacetic. It's not even a word. Yes, it is. And you just gonna love the Big Apple, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> reason I agreed to this move is because I naively thought it might slow him down. Do you know he's doing charity events every day this week? And that's in addition to shows and rehearsals. We've got the Grand Street Boys Club, the Catholic Youth Organization, the Police Pension Fund, the YMCA. He just can't say no. Well, maybe you'll have to learn how to say no.
official. Your husband's now the highest paid colored performer in the business. Thank you very much. Danny. He's making more money than ever. It's finally beginning to pay off. You no, know, seems like the more he makes, the deeper in the hole we get. You know, I went to Mr. Leslie the other day to ask him for an advance so I could put first and last in our apartment. He informed me that Bo had already taken his advance. What? So I have income taxes to pay. Son of a bitch. I'll talk to him. No, don't talk to him. Yell at him. I'll yell at him. Well, no, I don't bet against the Yankees. That's my team. What's the line on them sweeping the series? Six to one. Put me down for two G. It's another 2,000 we'll never see. Oh, no, no, this is the Yankees we talking about. Shit, that's like money in the bank. 12,000 to be precise. What's this? Something you never eat. It's called real food. No. No, this is not real food. Where's my donuts and ice cream? My coffee and cigars? Somewhere in your past. Hey, kids. Mr. Marty. Uh, uh, Marty, can you send somebody down to the deli and get me some real food? Don't even think about it, Marty. This is green stuff. Come on now. Don't tell me that a good Irish boy like you doesn't know cabbage when he sees it. Not me. <laughs> Only Cabbage Marty knows it's kind of he squeezes out those producers. Amen, Brother Bo. <laughs> Sign there and there. No, no, no. Here. Very good. One more. Marty, how long have you known that Bo can't read? He has trouble reading. No, he has trouble reading his name. Everything else is 100% Greek to him. Tell a fin from a saw, Buck. Mm -hmm. Marty, come on. He knows contracts better than I do. Yeah, but he can't read them. Fanny, I'm his manager. What do you want me to do? Never mind, Marty. I'm just his manager, for Christ's sake. See you sakes. later. Sound it out. Oh. Mm hmm A. Wa. W. Like two U's? The letter W. Don't make no sense. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Five minutes, Mr. Robinson. Oh, man, get the hell out of here. I know what time it is. Yes, sir. There you go. Yeah, I go where? Taking out your frustrations on other people. Woman, listen. Any language that capitalizes I, but not me, doesn't got all the kinks ironed out yet. It's only sensible for me to hold off learning until they do. Um, I guess if you're not smart enough, you're not smart enough. Don't got nothing to do with smarts. Just that you can't teach an old D-O-G new tricks. Break a leg. N-U-T. Spells Fanny. Mm. Damn that woman. Always pushing me. She expect a miracle? I'm as likely to, to walk on water as read a book. Come to think of it, did Jesus know how to read and write? You can bet your sweet ass he didn't. <laughs> I ain't like sweet here on Broadway. Watch my feet now. No telling what they might do. They got a mind of their own.
How bad was it? I couldn't get Bill a gig for months, that's how bad. That didn't stop him. Oh, no. He and Fanny would be volunteering for soup kitchens, or he'd lend his name to any charity that would ask. Or he'd go out onto the street and do what he did best. You know, make people smile. Meanwhile, I was knocking on every door I could think of. Imagine my surprise when one of them finally opened. Hollywood? Start packing. what this picture, if it succeeds at all. That's what it'll do. Now, it'll teach Americans, even in dire adversity, true fighting spirit will pull you through. Oh, please, please, sit down. Well, with all due respect, Mrs. Zanuck, I, I don't see how my playing some happy darkie is gonna save America. Well, listen, Bill, you know, race relations in the South, Man, the country, for that matter, they aren't good. There's no sense lying about it. That's why in our story, the color and the white, they pull together, make the future work. That ain't the South I know. Well, that's the South of the future. That's the America of the future. Because strange as it may seem, what Hollywood throws up on the silver screen, America embraces. Mark my words, America will embrace the friendship forged between your character and that little white girl. You really think so? Bill. <laughs> God's grace in my marketing department? Damn right it will. Little white girl. Hello, Mr. Robinson. My name is Shirley. I'm a big, big fan of yours. Well, pleased to meet you, little miss. And coming from such a big, big girl, that's a big, big compliment. Cool, pathetic. <laughs> Isn't she great? One, two, three, four. Pull back wide mouth swimmer, and I want the wine spring you get. Okay? We're ready, sir. We're ready? All right. Places, people. Let's look alive, scene 107. Shirley, Shirley, sweetie, come on, shake a leg. Oh, do we have to? Yeah, we have to. Now, you be a good little trooper and give me a perfect take, because we still got a lot of work to do. Say, boss, she been at it all day. Can't we let her grab a little nap? Time's money. Well, can you buck and win? Can I what? Well, somebody gonna have to dance. That little girl tumble down them stairs and hurts herself. What's Mr. Zanuck going to say about that? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Uh, scene 9 is the exact same setup without Shirley. Watch your back. Watch your back. Shit. <sighs> all right, already. Shirley? Sweetie? Listen, why don't you go back to your dressing room and have a little nap, OK? And we'll send Edna over to get you when your scene's ready. Edna, can you take her up, please? Come on, sweetheart. You can go have a nap, okay? There you go, sweetie. All right, people. Excuse me, Mr. and Mrs. Robinson. Ah, uh, Miss Temple. I just wanted to thank you for what you did. That was very kind. Uh, some folks think because they're bigger, they can push kids around. Hmm. You must have children of your own? No, no. God hasn't seen fit to bless us just yet. Probably waiting for me to grow up. I'm sure he'll make a wonderful father when he does. Thank you, Miss Depp. You're welcome. What's wrong, Ben? You ever wish that you would have married somebody else? All the time. Could have married Josephine Baker, <laughs> Ethel Waters. Hattie McDaniels <laughs> asked me to marry every day. Oh, I'm serious. You kidding, baby? Got everything I'd ever want, you know that. 
Don't have children. Children? Who needs them? Just God's way of punishing the wicked. <laughs> Respect, Mr. Zanuck. Don't you think it's time to branch out? Branch out? Yes, you said you wanted to give Bill a wider range of roles to play. Oh, that. Yeah, of course. Now, as a matter of fact, I got some of my best writers working on a few things right now. Littlest Rebel, scene 29, take one. Mark it. Action. <laughs> you've been things other than butlers and doormen. Look, Marty, I know all about Bill and his elegant image back in New York. I'm sure he'd love nothing better than to project that image out of the screen. Right now, the last thing whites want to see in the middle of a depression is a Negro dancing around a top hat and tails. Obviously living better than them. Just around the corner, scene 37, take all two. All right, little Mark. miss, take five steps to the break. Well, Mr. Zanuck, Bill's vaudeville audience didn't seem to have a problem with his elegant image. Yeah? Well, in case you haven't noticed, vaudeville is dead. So, you're saying, as far as the nation's mental health is concerned, it's better to keep Bill Robinson playing happy, darky servant roles. What do you want from me? Audiences are yearning for the good old days. So what was all that crap about inspiring hope and the South of the future and America embracing what they see on the silver screen? Marty, come on, you're an agent. Be smart. That's right, and it's my job to... Excuse me, Daryl, hold on just a second. Who is it? Walter Winchell of the Daily Mirror? No, 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 I'll have to call him back. Tell him I'm on the phone with Daryl Zanuck and we're talking about Negroes. I'm sorry, Daryl, where were we? All right, all right, stop busting my balls, all right? Now, the simple fact of the matter is we're developing some better projects for Bill right now. Is that a fact? Marty, would I lie to you? Yes. It's not the biggest part, but I think it's just what you've been asking for. It's got some class, none of this happy, darky crap. No, oh, come on, Marty. They all start out promising, and then it's the old bait and switch. This is different. I read the script. Uh, I'm telling you, you're going to like this. Come on, what do you say? Cafe Metropole, scene 118, take one, mark it. I guess we've been here three, four years now, and we are still unpacking. Oh, I know how that is. <laughs> the ball, she's in the parlor, right? Uh -huh. Still naked, doing a headstand in the corner. When I come in with my newspaper and cigar to sell down in my reading chair, right? Right. And she says to me, um, hey, baby, I'm having a swell time and all, but where does my kink gonna stop? I look up all surprised and everything. I say, I I'm sorry, baby, but the kink is over with. And she goes, over with? And I said, yeah, because I was done shit in your purse. Oh, <laughs> Lincoln, that's bad. That's bad. Yeah, but it's funny, though. Bo, oh, honey, I want you to meet Frederick Williamson. He's a California director of the National Association for Negro Progress. Well, Mr. F.W. or the N.A.N.P. How are you? I'm good, and you? They tell me I'm great. <laughs> A great pain in the ass, maybe. How do you eat? <laughs> what do you have? Uh, soda. Baby? You know what I have. I know what you get. <laughs> Frederick, I'd like you to meet 
Miss Hattie McDaniel. A pleasure to meet you, ma'am. Oh, you're single? Ooh, mm -hmm. watch out. Nah, I'm just asking because I got this niece, see? Cute as a button. Yeah, and as big as a house. <laughs> what? And the irrepressible Mr. Lincoln Perry. <laughs> Mr. Perry? That's me. Did anyone ever tell you look a lot like Step and Fetch it? Yeah, well, that's just a character I play. And do you think that Negro America knows that it's just a character? Woo! Mm. Somebody open up a window? I do believe I feel a draft. Mm. Mr. Williamson, how can we help you? Well, thank you. Here it is. You three are the biggest stars in the Negro community. The whole world knows who you are. People who don't even know Negroes know you. And because they know you, they think that they know all Negroes. Oh, hell. We're just entertainers. That's a hell of a burden to put on our shoulders. That was a burden you assumed when you became a celebrity, Mr. Robinson. Would you rather we didn't work in Hollywood? Is that what you want? No, no, we are very, very proud of your successes. We're just asking for a little more circumspection in the roles that you accept, that's all. Shoot, don't tell us, tell the studio. Mm, we're just doing our job. <laughs> Boss say jump, we jump. And we don't come down till he tell you to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you find this so amusing, but you see, no, I... Fred. I appreciate your concerns and your feelings. And I assure you, we have all struggled with this problem. But trust me, things are getting better. Getting better? Mm -hmm. I don't see it. Maybe not yet, but you will. Well, I just wrapped a picture where I didn't play no butler, no stevedore, no happy melon-eating plantation nigga, no none of that. In fact, there was no mention of race whatsoever. And my character was dressed to the nines. To, to the nines. nines. <laughs> <laughs> and I happen to like watermelon. Well, shit in my purse. Hey. <laughs> well, um, Mr. Robinson, I, I do look forward to your next picture. Wait a minute. Wait, what happened to the nightclub scene? What happened to my big scene? Shh. Don't shh me. This is bullshit. Why'd you cut out my scene? The movie was running way too long. A lot of scenes had to go. This ain't what you promised me coming here. Eight pictures I made for you. Eight money-making pictures, and this is what you do All to right, me? All right, stop the picture. Listen, Bill, what are you getting all bent out of shape for? You're getting paid either way. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about respect. I'm talking about a dignified portrayal of the Negro race. I'm talking about honoring a promise, the one you made to ah, me that going that promise in. still stands. Oh, man, quit insulting me. I'm not insulting you, Bill. Come on. We made a decision for Come the, on, baby. the picture, all right? Let's That's get all out of here. there was to it. And besides, you knew your scene would be cut for the print down south anyway. What's the big deal? Oh, Bill, we're going to change America. We're going to free your stupid asses. Yeah, we are. Just sign right here. Robinson, get back here. Yes, sir, boss. Anything you say, boss. Fuck you, boss. Live from Los Angeles, the toast of Broadway, the mayor of Harlem, and the king of tap, that dark cloud of joy, Bill Bojangles Robinson. Oh, them bunions is running me wild tonight. Good enough to have my own radio show. Good enough to be the toast of Broadway. Good enough to do command performances in London and tour all over Europe. Even have my own stateroom on the goddamn Queen Mary. But I ain't good enough to be treated like a man. I am a man, goddammit. I am a man. Why can't you see that? Ain't this good enough for you? Or this? Or this? 
When? When, God damn it? You know, there's a new way to travel. It's called flying. Guys ought to try it sometime. It'll save you about four days. Let me take that from you, family. Thanks, Marty. This isn't the best time to bring this up, Bill, but burning bridges is not a wise thing to do, especially in Hollywood. Ain't known for my wisdom, Marty. I get us a cab. <coughs> what happened out there? Maybe it's a blessing. God knows he needs to slow down. Well, we both know I'll never do it. I didn't say he'd want to. Children's Hospital been after me to dance for the kids in the ward. I'd like to do that tomorrow. Oh, and don't let me forget my checkbook. Checkbook? What for? What for? Because I promised to make a big donation. That's what for. I want to do charities, I'll do charities. I'll do whatever the fuck I want to do. I'm not asking you to turn your back on people. I'm just saying be more careful. Unpaid bills are piling up. Charities, fine. Knock yourself out. But do not go giving our money away or we're going to end up in the poorhouse. Oh, ye of little faith. And don't pretend to get religious with me. Little bo, little bo, little bo. Can't save the world. Says who? Says anybody with an ounce of sense in their head. Woman, let me spell this out. And what can you this spell is my that money. I didn't teach you? I earned every penny of it. You ungrateful I'll do son of a bitch. Damn well I, I want managed to that it. money and your career and paid all the bills. You want to? You can cash out right now. Every cent we have, we have because I saved it. Where are you going? Well, you put me in such a good mood, I feel like going out and painting the town. Oh, you always run, don't you, Bo? I can dance. Would you like to see me dance out, huh? Want to see me dance out, huh? Well, then dance out. Shit.
That kid ain't even dancing right. That's a heel and toe style the young kids is doing today. Me on the night, I have a go. Christ, Bill. Where were you? I left word all over town. What'd you do? Fall off the planet? You all right? Yeah, everything's copacetic. So you want a gig? What? Retire from my retirement? All right, here's the deal. Uncle Sam wants movies that'll get the Negro behind the war effort. 
So Fox is making a picture called Stormy Weather. They've already signed Cab Calloway, Fats Waller, and Lena Horne, and they're looking for a leading man. Interested? What is it this time? Shoe shine boy or butler? First position, let's go! Yeah. Stormy Weather, scene 96, take one. Mark it. Roll playback. Business, my darling, business. What a business it is. Well, Zana couldn't be happier. He's beside himself. Maybe that's how he talks out of both sides of his mouth. Oh, daddy. Hey, you were great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who is she? Who? The one you've been eating with your eyes on. Congratulations. We're all proud of you. Hell if I know. I think maybe she's one of the chorus girls. Hmm, you think? Great Go ask her, if you're so damn curious. Well, maybe I will. Maybe I'll ask her if you fucked her while I'm at it. Come on now. What are you doing here, Bill? 
Come on, Nathan. You've been hunting pussy since the day we met. I just never wanted to believe it. Fanny. 27 years I gave you. My Congratulations. Hi. <laughs> you should be very proud. Thank you. My schooling, my career. For what? So you could dump me for someone who helps you forget you're 65 this years old. This is all in your head. Ain't nothing between that girl. Hey, Bo. Fanny. Oh, I should believe you over my own eyes. I hated to see it happen, but I could feel it was coming, and there was no way to stop it. Fanny couldn't give Bill children. They got divorced. Oh, spare me. Fanny couldn't give Bill children. How do you know it wasn't the other way around? We don't, but Bill always wanted a family, so what do you do? Well, you don't dump your best friend and marry someone 40 years your junior, I can tell you that. Jesus, he's old enough to be your grandfather. Trying to go on forever? That's me, boy. You all right? What you telling it? Put these charity gigs, it's sapping your strength. Every little bit helps. It ain't helping you. Bill! Uh, Bill! Uh, Marty! Uh, ain't this a mess? Ain't this a mess? Uh, Colored doctor. How long have I been out? You're a lucky man, Mr. Robinson. This time. Exhaustion, right, Doc? It was a heart attack, you dope. Mr. Robinson, I'll be frank. Your heart just fired a warning shot across your bow. A warning to what? Jesus, to slow the hell down. To retire. You want me to stop dancing? No. But if you don't, it'll kill you. Oh, look there, look there, look there! It's the great Bojang! Still grinning that grin of yours, like in all their movies. <laughs> what I want to know is, how could you be smiling when all of your people are suffering each and every day? Yeah. Huh? yeah. Or how can you be such an ardent supporter of police departments all across America when lynch mobs go largely unprosecuted? Yeah, that's right, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. You better watch who you point your finger at, sucker. <coughs> hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ain't no reason to get upset with me, Bojangles. Hell, I ain't the one that called you uncle. <laughs> Even though I ain't related to you. Damn right we ain't related. Yeah, uncle. I think you missed my point, old man. Mm. And I think you missed me telling you to shut the hell up. And I think that you then, yes, sir, Boston, <laughs> scratching your head, jumping Jim Crow, yeah. and Uncle Tommy for so long Tell that you have forgotten yeah. that you were nothing but a second class citizen. Yeah. 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 Bill, no. Well, maybe all that money you made got you thinking that you were just another white performer in blackface. Yeah. 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 Let me go. Get a hold of it. Get your hands off me. Get your hands off Just calm down. Let him go. What? Let him go. 
Now, what you gonna do? Dance? You know, you try to be nice to folks your whole life, and then all of a sudden, you're a goddamn Uncle Tom. Oh, Fanny, I'm so tired. I'm Elaine. Just give them a little love, and they should be fine. Thank you, OK, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Hey, little Paul. Actually, I go by Fanny again. Stands the reason. How you do? Everything is copacetic. And you? Shop looks real nice, real nice. So what you need? A dozen roses to make up for a late night of gambling or something, buddy? <laughs> I came to see you. Apology accepted. Just like that. Sure, why not? After all, it turned out to be a win-win situation for everybody, now didn't it? Any chillings? Nope. Oh. Hmm, imagine that. Three wives and all of them barren. Hmm. Buzzard luck. <laughs> you right. Well, better be going. So the Canadian says, may we top billing, okay, but uh, can we make the contract? And I said, yeah, we can make the contract, but one more thing, no blackface. No blackface, mind you, but the colored man always wears the blackface. I said, yeah, well, the colored man already has a blackface, so he really doesn't need another one. <laughs> so he says, uh, may we, mon Dieu, yes. Uh, ah, we see your point, okay, no blackface, but uh, now can we make the contract? I said, yeah, we can make the contract, but just one more thing. Uh, no second-rate Igaloo. <laughs> Igaloo? Igaloo? Qu'est-ce que c'est? What is Igaloo? Well, that's, uh, that's show business talk for hotel. Oh, may we, but of course, only the best hotel for Monsieur Jangels, may we. But now can we make the contract? I said, may we? Yes, we may. And that's when I knew we were raking bacon. And we do love bacon. <laughs> yeah. That was one sweet deal. Top notch. Oh, I, uh, I ran into Shuffle Brown, wants to come and say hello. Marty. So I, uh, told him when visiting hours are, he's gonna come later in the week. Marty. Where are my shoes? Where are your shoes? Well, I don't know where your shoes are. They're probably in the closet.
Ah, Paul. Ah, Paul. Goodbye, old friend. Hey, little boy. Hey, little boy. Hey, little boy. Who's the greatest dancer you ever saw?